Hey, what's up guys, JQ with Tech Creation. Smart car connectors have been around for a minute now where you can pair them to your smartphone via Bluetooth to provide you with useful info from your vehicle. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics and traditional OBD readers requires you to be hardwired, while OBD2 connectors allows for remote connections. This OBD2 connector is called Vinly. So this goes beyond basic diagnostic tools that competing connectors provide by also offering built-in GPS and its built-in standalone LTE provided by T-Mobile's network and only T-Mobile at the moment. By plugging it in, your vehicle transforms into a roaming Wi-Fi hotspot. And setting it up is just as simple as plug and play. But first, make sure your car is on to get that power flowing. The vehicle I'm using is a 2016 Honda Civic, but it's compatible with basically any vehicle made after 1996 when data interfaces became the standard. So really, a wide range of compatibility. Then you want to proceed to install the Vinly app that's available for Android or iOS, and then you have to sign up and enter that unique code that's found on the back of the Vinly to link the device and complete the setup. Once that's done, go ahead and plug the Vinly into the same port that's typically found underneath the driver's side. You don't even need to connect it via Bluetooth because it does that automatically, plus all your info syncs through Vinly's cloud service anyway. And this is what allows you to remotely monitor your vehicle away from home via the app. So exploring the app, you'll notice it's impressively polished. You're greeted with a dashboard that tells you where was your car's last location, its driving performance and stats, and just the overall health of the vehicle. So for example, this is where any issues with your engine will be displayed. Moving over to the Wi-Fi tab, you'll see how much data is remaining, which is nice. And you also have the Hotspot tab, which is where you'll configure Vinly's Wi-Fi network name and password. Now I had zero issues connecting to it and I ran some speed tests and I found the speed to be comparable to my smartphone's antenna with the slight edge going to my phone. Mind you, I'm also on T-Mobile's network, but nonetheless, the speeds on the Vinly were more than good enough for streaming. Now switching gears for a second, the Vinly offers a pay as you go service, which gives you the option to purchase more data as needed, which is fine. But depending on who you are, I personally think the data packages are a bit up there. I mean, $40 for three gigabytes, I just can't justify that, especially if you're purchasing this because you have children and own several tablets. The data will be eaten up in a few days, especially streaming YouTube videos and online games. So for me, pricing could use a bit of an adjustment because right now it's not exactly tempting. Adding to that, you might not find this of use considering your smartphone is already capable of the GPS and Wi-Fi functions that the Vinly has to offer. It'd just be another bill to worry about. Not to mention, much cheaper hotspot plans exist and I currently have five gigabytes of hotspot through T-Mobile. So for me, the Vinly isn't really needed as much. On a good note, the Vinly has its own app store with a good selection of apps, with apps like Beagle that allow you to track your child's driving habits away from home by geofencing certain areas or setting speed limits and having the Vinly alert you via text message when those rules have been violated. You also have apps like Home Connect that allow integration for smart home products like SmartThings that allow you to trigger appliances or connect the thermostats when your vehicle is in close proximity to your home. And a bunch of more apps that revolve around vehicle activity. Now with Wi-Fi features aside, I think this is a locator at its best. If it's in your best interest to use this for the sole purpose of monitoring your vehicle and its exact location, then it might be worth considering because it does that with impressive accuracy, within feet's distance to be honest. So that's certainly something I can vouch for. Now the downside to that is that the room for abuse and malicious behavior is a bit worrisome. It's too easy to install. I can literally put this in anyone's car and in minutes track their every move no matter where I'm at and they wouldn't even have a clue. If you have the money to burn and currently no hotspot plan, then this is a great tool for the family or even for that big road trip that you had planned. Mind you though, if you are in the mountains somewhere without cellular service, chances are this doesn't have any service either. Just something to keep in mind. So this currently retails for a whopping 200 bucks. I always love when technology works together and while I think this is a great idea and a step in the right direction in terms of the connected smart car experience, I can already see concerns from potential buyers. I'd really love to know what you guys think. Go ahead and drop a comment below and share your thoughts and I'll go ahead and drop some links in the description in case you guys happen to be interested. 
I'll also leave links to some affordable alternative OBD2 smart car connectors that's out there and that offer some similar functionalities. As always, if you enjoyed this video, share some support and show some love to that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for some awesome tech videos every week. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later.